What's up, everybody? Ben Raza here for Odd Chopper, talking all things college basketball. The tournament is rapidly approaching. There are games all day, every day, leading us up uh, to March Madness. So it's a great time to be a college basketball fan. And here, we're going to throw a couple bets together, build out another parlay. I've been doing this every day, having some fun. Hopefully, you've been tuning in. If not, welcome aboard. Welcome to Odd Chopper. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Support the community yesterday. So we got to dig into this a little because I I'm interested to hear. Hopefully, some of you connected because we had some things working northern kentucky we had them at minus one and a half in the parlay video it moved to two and a half and they ended up winning by two so if you got that early number that's a win gonzaga destroyed saint mary's that was a laugher so we set the table for montana state late they did not cover we talked about that in the video not that they didn't cover we wanted them to but we said could lose their money line and they did win the game so if you used montana state money line you might have got a nice ticket. It wouldn't have been the full six to one, but I'm hoping some of you did that. Montana State, unfortunately, though, did not cover the five and a half for us, which would have been really, really nice. We went three for three on the spreads, but it's always good to have a sweat. It's always good to potentially catch a piece. Let's see what we can do today. Let's dive into this. UTEP, first bet on the board. Bet this team all the time. Why? That's a story for another time. I don't really know, to be honest, because they don't do... A lot of things uh, to make you smile. They're a very frustrating team. But I do think that this Miners team has some things working here. They're a one-point dog in a, in a pseudo toss-up game against Western Kentucky. They're a 14-17 team. 68 points per game. 29% from three. They cannot shoot. They're a guard-dominant team. But really what they're a dominant team in is defense. They force a ton of turnovers. Aggressive. They're forcing steals all over the place. That is what they do. They pressure, they pressure, they pressure. They're coming off a really impressive, nice 12-point win to close the regular season against MTSU. They've played Western Kentucky twice. They lost by five in both of those games, pretty competitive games. I think that UTEP's defense is the best unit in this game. I think that they can dictate the pace. They can dictate the play. Can they make their shots? Uh, you know, that's it. they've been better in the second half of the season with that. But man, a 133-point total, hopefully the game is played at a methodical pace. Because I don't like this Western Kentucky team at all. They're 16 and 15. They've lost four of six. In their last game, they they scored 33 points in the game. Now, I know North Texas is an elite defensive team, but come on. 72 points per game, 36% from three. They've got the tallest player in the country. Uh, guy's an absolute beast on the inside. He's not a prolific scorer or anything, but you know he's going to rack up some blocks. But again, UTEP has seen this twice now. They're also led by a pair of guards. They're a much more balanced team. When I look at Western Kentucky, they don't have any gimmick to them. They just are who they are, pretty average across the board. UTEP is the polar opposite of that. They're an, a terrible offensive team, and I, I would say a borderline elite defensive team. I really like what they do, and I think that that is the type of team that can get a win here. I thought they were played much better at the end of the year, lost some games that they could have won, including the second Western Kentucky game. I will say the Western Kentucky cannot beat them three times. Give me UTEP plus one to start out the parlay. Now, we got a couple more to put on the board, but I've been saying this every day, and I know some of you are taking advantage, but if you are a new user on DraftKings, if you don't yet play there, go to the link below. Click that link. Put in $5 and immediately go and bet a pregame money line that's going to win. I would suggest Villanova. I don't see them losing to Georgetown today. If Villanova wins the game, you turn five into 150. Not if they cover, if they just win the game. Your pregame money line, it's that simple, easy way to turn five into 150, 30 to one on your money. Got to be 21 plus. Play responsible. If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. First on the board, scrolling. Second on the board, Duquesne. Talked about this. You can check this out on, on this very channel on my favorite bet of the day. I think that this team is really poised to do some work today and actually win pretty comfortably. They better because we're laying seven and a half points. LaSalle, not a great team. That's putting it mildly. 14 and 18, 7 11 in the conference. They had to play yesterday. They played Rhode Island. They mopped the floor with them. 70 points per game. Before that, they had lost five straight. Defensively, it's pretty bad. Uh, they're in the bottom third of most metrics across the country. I don't really see a lot that I can say for them. Average shooting team from behind the arc. It's really more to me about Duquesne. LaSalle is who they are. I don't, I don't think you really have a, a huge variance when they play, but Duquesne's 20 and 11. They're a pretty good team. They played LaSalle during the year, beat them by 17, hung 91 points in that game, and they can do that to teams. They can really get going. 75 points per game, 37% from three. They've got three guards that kind of lead the way. Really good team, in my opinion. A team that, for the A-10, could make some noise in this tournament. To do that, of course, 
They're going to have to get through LaSalle today. A 147 and a half point total is the type of total that I want to see for a game like this. If it gets up and down, pace, possessions, all of that favors Duquesne. They can win this by double digits. I think they will win this by double digits. So I, I like to lay the points here. Minus seven and a half as the second part of this bet. It is already looking like an ugly parlay. I'm not going to lie. We got UTEP plus one. Duquesne minus seven and a half. Oh, man. We got to find another one to complete this. Because right now you're at, you know, plus 260. A little more than that. Plus 264. So you got some room to work. We're going to pump it up and try to get a third on the board. But with the time of the year going on, with March Madness and everything else, I want to take you guys behind the glass and just show you a preview What's going on with Odd Shopper Premium? If you're unfamiliar what it is, it's the tool behind this community. Bring it up on the screen right now. You can see just a snippet. I'm in list view with all sports, and it's just quickly showing you the value there. We've taken all the bets from all the sports, and we're using a market-based approach to shop those lines and find where there's discrepancies with certain books, and boom, you can come right here and see those instantly in real time. We've got a million different filters, a million different sorting tools. You see the books, you see the win percentage, you see the ROI. The best part about this, of course, it is 100% free for a week. If you want to come in and test this out, just go to the link in the description of this video, click it. If you don't like it, you've lost nothing. If you try it out and you say, this is great, I made some money this week and you still don't want to stick with it, well, it was an awesome week. If you say it's not for you, it's not for you. We just want to showcase this tool. Can't thank the team behind the scenes enough for putting it together. So much functionality, so many different things. This is just one view. We've got all different things behind the scenes that we want you to check out. So bet a little hockey, bet a little college basketball, bet a little NBA even. A lot of opportunities there. And again, updates in real time. Link in the description below. But let's get back to it. Let's find the third piece of the puzzle scrolling come on now let's stick with it our boys from last night who again they got it done on the money line if you went there they did not cover that spread they won in double overtime against weber state in a game where they only scored 60 points you won't see that too often the old 60 to 58 in double ot what a wacky game but they're a good team i really trust montana state 24 and 9 i think they're the team that deserves to be there that will be in the tournament and they're a six and a half point favorite here. It's a 136 and a half point total, so nothing too crazy. Can legs be a factor? Sure. I mean, that is a lot of basketball, but at the same time, you know, it wasn't that they're not playing like four games in four days or anything like that. They beat Northern Arizona twice during the year, a 15 point win. Then they beat them by one point. But in that game, three of 18 for three, you know, 16%, something like that, pretty rough. And they still managed to get it done. I expect them to really exploit. Northern Arizona team, that's a cool story. That's playing better. That's obviously got some things working. But this is not a team uh, that really stood out at all when you looked at what they're doing. They're way under 500. They were not expected to be here. They knocked off Montana last night. 74 points per game, 36% from three. This is their fourth game in five days. I just don't know what the old Lumberjacks have left here. And again, they are a team. They're on a great run. And we see this all the time with the Cinderella coming in. They are not as good as Montana State. And, of course, we know that. Listen, we're not trying to pick winners here. That's what minus 285 is for. Six and a half points in a game like this where, you know, there could be crazy fouling late. After that, I think Montana State actually shows up in a big way here. as a pretty comfortable one. Controls. They're so strong defensively. I don't know what Northern Arizona can really do. We saw Weber State struggle immensely at times. If Montana State shoots a reasonable clip tonight, I don't think NAU can stick with them. So I will put Montana State right back on the card for the second day in a row. And I'll say the same thing I said yesterday. If you want to be more conservative, you can roll the money line in there. And obviously the payout's going to go down, but your chance of success will go up. And yesterday that would have paid off if you did, in fact, do that. So with the three straight minus 110s, we've got a plus 595 on the board, nearly six to one. And hopefully we can link all three up together but there you have it again utep duquesne and montana state thanks again for tuning in everyone it's going to be an awesome awesome day of hoops cannot wait to see it don't forget take advantage of what we got going on check out odd chopper premium again just click the link free for a week check it out let us know what you think if you have any questions hit me up on twitter at jazz DFS. good luck enjoy the games and of course i'll see you guys tomorrow